it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Singing some old Whitney Houston there as I was getting my shed ready for the day. <laughs> anyway, it is time for me to pick some orders today. I'm going to go pick them and then I'm going to go through some of my sales with you because it's been a while since I've actually done a little bit of a what sold. So I've got a few good orders going out the door. So let's take a look. Okay, I have got a air fryer cookbook that I've sold for $18, a vintage woman's weekly cookbook that I've sold for $20. It's only thin, but these old cookbooks that are on like biscuits and slices, I find that they sell quite well. So I've had quite a lot of viewers on this book ever since it was listed and it's only probably been listed maybe be a week. Okay, I've sold this James Patterson bundle. I sold it for only $20.30, but I have got some sales running in my store on some older items at the moment, and this one got sold in a sale. Just sold this for $65, including the shipping. Now, I got this in that big hoarders haul that I got last year, if you've been following me for a while. This is kind of like some kind of wall hanging plate, and from what my Google told me, that this was kind of like a Russian design. Design. I used the Google lens to help me out. I couldn't find anything exact, so I kind of just had to guess on the price. But anyway, I took it for an offer, and yeah, I've sold it for $65, including the shipping. I've got this uh, DVD series, The Master of Sex, and there is four series here as part of it. I picked all these up there not too long ago, only probably a couple of weeks ago. I only paid a dollar per disc set, and I've just sold them for $34.99. Okay, now this is a women's skirt, like a long kind of bow ho hippie kind of skirt and I've just sold that for $18.85. Okay I've picked up this old Toyota Corona repair manual. It's not in very good condition. It's even kind of got all like the old greasy marks in it from where somebody's obviously been working on the car. But anyway I picked that up for a dollar and I've just sold it for $29.74. So this book here, The Bush Tucker Man, I've sold this book a few times. It kind of gets me a variance in price. This time I've sold this book on sale for $21.25. Okay, now this was a multi-order. It's two books going to the one person. And one of the books was called Banish Bad Habits Forever. And the other one is The Wisdom of the Tarot. Now, I've only sold this for quite cheap. I think it was $22 for both the books. However, I much rather sell two books to the one customer and put one postage than do two individuals on low-end books. So I'm happy to move those two out the door. Talk about the Dream Baby Guide has sold for $16.05 on a sale. And The Voices of First World War has sold for $17.60. This one has been listed a long time in my store and I'm glad it's going out the door. Now I sold these three books here for $28.99. It's three books by the same author called Kristen Higgins. I've never sold her before. I've never actually seen her but these are just women's basic romance books and yeah they have sold pretty fast so I'd definitely pick her up again. Now I sold these three scary DVDs. Now the series is called Most Haunted and I had series one two and five and I've sold this bundle for forty dollars. Now I've got two Rivers of London graphic novels here and I've sold the two of these for $27.30. Now I've got these three cookbooks here. They're all by the same author which is Anthony Worrell which is why I've bundled them together. Now they're on diabetes and low GI diets. I have had these listed for quite a while but I've sold them for $29.95 and I've sold this kids my first study bible for $21.99. So I've had this old menopause book listed since November last year. So what, May? Seven months nearly. So anything that that's old, I just want gone from in my store. Somebody made me an offer on this and I ended up accepting it for $10.50. I will have only just made enough money to make my money back on this book, but I don't care. I'm happy to make a dollar back on the book and put it into buying a new one that will hopefully sell faster than that one. So I've got these three books that are all on the topic of like spirit mediums psychics and I've sold those for I think it was almost $21 just under $21 for the three I did sell them on a sale they have been listed a while you can see the condition isn't great all of these books I got from a free haul so I wasn't too worried about it and yeah almost $21 for the three going out. Okay, this was a pretty good sale. Now I sold this book for $40. It's obviously on Russian paintings here. I got this back in the day last year in my hoarders haul. So yeah, I think I took an offer again on that one as well because it has been listed a while, but still very happy to get $40 for a book that cost me five cents. Okay, now this is a great sale. This is always a great set to find and it sells for really good money if you can find it. 
Now, this series is called The Wheel of Time, and it is by Robert Jordan. I think this is currently on Netflix, so it's been, it's always just a popular book set to sell. I have just sold this one for $118, and I did take an offer on that one as well. I think I had it listed for about $10 more at $128, but I am very happy to move this along for $118. Interesting, I've also got another um, Wheel of Time book set coming out. So this one I had 10 for the $118. This one I've sold five for $51. Oh, and these little cocky books, they always surprise me. They're just like very small kid size books, early readers. Um, you can see the brand here, Cocky. Anyway, you can often pick these up in the charity shops. They'll have them wrapped in an elastic band and they might sell the whole little bundle for $2. I've just sold this bundle of them for $29. Okay, Michael Robotham. Now he's always sold quite well for me. These are only medium size books books. I do prefer to sell the larger ones, but I've sold these for $19.99. And I've got this bundle of three kids books in the Paw Patrol series that I've sold for $21. This is a true crime book about one of the bikey gangs. I've taken an offer on this for $25, but this book you can actually get quite um, decent money for. You, I could, probably could have got up to $35 if I'd sat on this for a bit longer. I'm not really in the business of sitting on my books. I'm happy to move them along. So I took, I think he offered me $20 and I counted back with 30. He offered me 25 and I ended up taking it. So yeah, $25. I am happy with that from a $1 investment. Okay. Now this little book, Living Sober, I will say I almost probably discarded this book and I have only sold it for a little amount, $12.99. So it's nothing special. But what I will say is that books that are on Alcoholics, um, AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, Trying to Get Sober, even books like Smoking, How to Quit Smoking, all those kind of books that are about addiction or quitting addiction, they do actually seem to move quite fast for me and some of them can bring some pretty good money. So this one I got in a haul. Um, the only reason I did comp it is because I've known from prior experience that those type of books have sold in the past for me. So $12.99, nothing to write home about, but it's out the door. I've sold this pretty little Bible here. It's just a soft cover. It's not real leather or anything, but I've sold that one for $24.99. This book here, The Shock of the New, quite a heavy book, but this one is sold for $23.99. Okay, this is a really nice coffee table book that I've sold for $42. It is called The Story of a Guinness House. So this is a great sale. I sold this one for $75 and it's actually a combination of three bundles. I've already wrapped them up together. So there was one bundle of four and two bundles of two. Six of the books are by James Patterson. The other two books are by David Baldashi. And yes, yeah, $75 for the three. All gets to go in one shipping mailer, which is awesome, saves me money. And this was a great sale as well. This is called The Elder's Scroll Skyrim Official Game Guide. So anytime I see a game guide, I always have a look at it. And quite often they sell for some pretty good money. So I've sold this one for $45. Now this book, Alternative Cures, not a big selling book. I've sold it for $18, but I have to say, every time I pick this book up, I sell it. So every time I find it, I pick it up because it just sells fast for me. You can see this one was in really good condition, $18, and it's moved out within a couple of weeks. Now I sold this book set on sale. It is four books in the Vampire Academy series by um, Rochelle Mead. I've sold this bundle for $29.99. Now, this book said here, Donna Hay. I only bought this last week, so it has definitely sold fast. And it's two books in the series, and I've sold it for $21.99. I did take an offer. I think I had it on for $25. Okay, now this yoga book for um, yoga teaching, I think it is. So it's got all the different poses. I've sold that one for $20. This is a woman's weekly easy sugar-free cooking cookbook that I've sold on sale. And I've sold this one for $13.59. This one, a 500 Curries has sold for $22. Okay, this is three Megan Hart books that I've sold for $27.30. These are women's romance, erotic fiction, sexy books, <laughs> $27.30. Three Judy Nunn books and I've sold them for $21. I took an offer on them. They've got some fading here you can see on the pages, but yeah, $21 for the three of them. Willa! Okay, orders are all packed. I've got this box down here. It's got that plate in it. 
but I don't have any bubble wrap. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get some bubble wrap when I go to the post office, but I've already printed the label and everything out. Okay, so what am I going to do now? I'm actually going to put these bags in my car. I've also got a Facebook Marketplace pickup that I've got to do today at 3.30. So if I get the post dropped off first, do the Facebook Marketplace, then pick my daughter up from school, then I can come home. So I'll do all that in one route. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack these tables up and I don't know if you can see here, but I've actually bought the shelves, um, which are like the benches here. And I want to set them up so I can run them in here in the middle of my room. I've had, I, I bought these shelves like a couple of weeks ago now and they've just been sitting there and I just think maybe today is the day. Or I get that sorted. I've got two more boxes of mailers in my car. I had to bring them in to be able to fit all the parcels. I swear I've got no room in my shed for any more mailers. This is the worst thing about buying in bulk. You have to kind of store them in the interim. This might be the last time that I have to pack up tables. <laughs> I feel like I should be reminiscing or something. Like, that's a bit sad kind of, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, I have been using trestle tables since I've been in the storage units. They're like a part of my life, packing these trestle tables up and down. It's going to be weird here with shelves. I hope I don't actually hate it. Because, you know, at the moment I've got the trestle tables and when I want to have the clear space, I can. But I'm just kind of thinking, if I put shelves down here, then I still have bench space. I just also have shelving space. Knowing me, I'll set them all up and I'll be like, I don't want these. <laughs> enough of these babies up that I don't need any instructions. <laughs> I am like a professional shelf setter upper up. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. Professional shelf builder I am. Okay, so you can see that there's still parts on the ground. Now, the reason being is this is actually designed to be a five-tier shelf, just like these ones here behind me. So in order for me to make it beach height, it means I've had to buy an extra shelf and I have to forfeit a couple of those shelves. It's just how it works if I want to get them. Okay, so this one I actually had the frame already built because I had leftover from when I bought these ones. So this has been sitting outside the shed and it just needs a bit of a wipe down because it's got a few bits of water drop on it from the rain. And it's a few little cobwebs also. Okay, what do you think, guys? That's a lot of space. Oh, no. 
Oh, Mel, no. Guys, look what I've done. <laughs> I've made the shelves uneven. I can't deal. <laughs> My OCD is not going to cope with having those shelves at two different heights. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix that. That's going to annoy me. can't believe I did that. I measured it off those other ones instead of measuring it off the one that was outside. Look at me. i got a new seat. <laughs> as long as it doesn't collapse on me. <laughs> I think these are going to work here. I mean, they're going to give me quite a lot more space to put some books. I mean, these are 1.2 meters long each shelf. So 2.4 meters. And that gives me four big long shelves. Plus, I've still got a work area here to put all my picked books on. These benches, they're not as wide as the trestle tables that I'm used to working off, but I still think that they're going to be okay. It's got a good length for me. I reckon these benches are going to give me room for at least another 500 books, individual books. If I got to the point where I really, really needed extra space, I reckon I could almost add a double width here of these shelves. I would just have to get a little bit closer to the photography station. I would have less room in here, which wouldn't be ideal. I think what I've left here at the moment is probably the perfect width for going up, for going down, for going up. <laughs> The thing is, if I pull these any closer to these shelves, then it becomes hard for me to get down to the bottom shelves and pick the orders. It kind of becomes like it is in that room at the back there. Like it's harder to get down on those bottom shelves. But worst case scenario, if I start to fill this shed and it's just getting too full, I can, I reckon I probably can add a second one here and make this like a double. So then what it would be is books on this side, and books on that side. I don't really have to worry about that yet because I'm not at that level yet space-wise, but it's kind of nice to know that if I need to grow my store by another 500 and I feel like I'm absolutely full to the brim, there's space there to put another 500. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>